What is harmonic distortion in power amplifiers? Distortion Distortion is a serious problem faced in power amplifier design. In faithful amplification, the output signal must be a scaled replica of the input signal and if there is any dissimilarity between the input and output waveform, then the output is said to be distorted. Unpleasant sound output coming from an audio system, which is no more the faithful reproduction of the original audio, is mainly due to distortion. Other reasons for bad sound output are noise, clipping, etc. The figure shows faithful amplification and disordered amplification. In the figure, you can see that every point in the input waveform, waveform 1, is exactly reproduced in the non disordered output, waveform 2 and the falling edges of the input waveform are unfaithfully reproduced in the disordered output, waveform 3. Harmonic Distortion Harmonic distortion can be explained as any distortion or corruption in the output waveform due to the generation of harmonics. The integer multiplies of a fundamental frequency are called harmonics. In audio amplifier domain, the frequency of the input signal is taken as the fundamental frequency. For example, if x is the fundamental frequency, then 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, up to 10x are the harmonics. Harmonic distortion in power amplifiers are mainly caused by the non-linearities of the active elements, that is transistors. The active elements used for amplification, whether BJT, FET, MOSFET or anything like that may not equally amplify every points in the input waveform and this is the reason behind the non-linearity. In different amplifier configurations, class A has the highest linearity, then class AB and class B and finally class C has the worst linearity. How well designed the audio amplifier may be, its output mate contains some distortion mainly in the form of even harmonics. Out of the even harmonics, second order harmonics will be generally the prominent one. Second order harmonic distortion is the amount of second order harmonic content present in the output signal with respect to the fundamental frequency.